This video is a sample of some of the visualizations we've made from Code Combat data coming through the Snowplow Analytics pipeline um, in preparation for the GDC conference. We will first show you some dashboards that we made in Superset. Um, then it will be a, a visualization of the first world in the game showing active users uh, live in real time per level. And finally, we'll have a walkthrough um, in split screen with a Cabana dashboard in which you can see data coming through or events coming through in real time as the game is played. I hope it's enjoyable. Here we've provided uh, some level by level statistics in a dashboard. So the started field is players you've started a level, finished is obviously the same for finished. Completion percentage, uh, this field here is the um, percentage of people who completed that needed a hint. Uh, completion alert means people who completed but uh, through an error in the game, etc. Um, this pie chart displays the uh, distribution of different operating systems on the game and this is the regional uh, users who started the first level. So the uh, inside just gives it by state and then by region um, within the state is contained outside of that. In this dashboard we've provided new account creation over time. Uh, below that we have a pie chart of types of account and type of account over time. In this dashboard we see new premium subscri subscriptions over time and subscriptions in a bar chart by uh, essentially the type of subscription they have if they pay $9.99 uh, per month, if they pay for three months or if they pay for the year. This is a representation of active users per level in real time. So uh, this is the first world in the game. It's the uh, free to play world. And uh, obviously the little glowing dots are representations of current active players. So as you can see, there's quite a lot more activity in the earlier levels, which you would expect, uh, given that people will drop out uh, as the game gets harder. Um, compared to the later levels. Here we have events uh, in real time as they happen. So on the left you'll see a visualization of count for events for this specific player. Uh, the event name field will give you obviously which event it is and there is a timestamp field displayed beside that. So in the top right hand screen uh, the player is navigating through the game. Let's say they type a command that throws an error such as do a backflip. Uh, as soon as they run that it will throw the error and on the left hand screen you'll see um, as soon as Cabana refreshes the show problem alert event comes through. On the bottom right hand side of the screen is the active players per level visualization. 